The problem is the stink, going. the stink of a no moss, you know? Yeah. That, and that, that, especially in boxing, look at yeah. it. Think about it. When did that fight occur? Yeah. And it's still talked about 40 years well, later. Well, it's one of the things that Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather were saying during the fight. Floyd Mayweather said, there's no tap outs in boxing. There's no tap outs in boxing. <laughs> Listen, dude, if you got an MMA, you'd fucking tap out. Oh, yes, he you'd would. You'd either tap out or you'd go to sleep or get your arm broken. Yeah. You don't want either one of those things to happen. No. Nope. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's like, talk is great, but it is. You know, it's great. Yeah, you know, I, I will give them credit as far as the way they hyped that fight. Woo. You know, yeah, it got out of hand at some point. It was exciting, <laughs> but you got to look at yeah. you know some the of the things that were done at the weigh-ins. Connor with a boner in his underwear. I don't know what he did <laughs> to give himself a boner, but he's like got to at least a at least a three quarters. He's got a chub. He's got a chubby, yeah. and he's screaming at him in his face like, "Whoa." Yeah. What is happening here? Yeah, he was being attacked from both angles. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it didn't help in the long run. Ah, you knew. Yeah, come on. Anybody well, did you think know? about all that crazy talk about? Uh, turn, Jane, Dana said it's one hundred percent bullshit. But the crazy talk about Connor and Floyd fighting oh, in an geez. MMA cage with boxing gloves, no kicks, no takedowns, ridiculous. no submissions. It's ridiculous. But you can clinch. It's ridiculous because the clinch is going to do you what good in that you can dirty box. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm going to tell you, Connor has the ability to dirty box better than Floyd because Floyd's not used to doing it. Yeah. It's a different element. But look, at if you're going to come into another man's sport, quit trying to change the rules. Yeah, just come into the sport. Connor went into his sport. He didn't change any rules. Now, he did some things illegally. <laughs> I'll give him that. You know, he's hitting him with hammer fists. He's right. doing things. You go, you can't do that, Connor. Right. But for the most part, he's following those for the rules. most part. Okay. All you'd have to do is uh, just say no takedowns and no submissions I, and no grappling. I said before the first be like, one. Go ahead. Before the first one, I said, no, I don't, I don't want to see Connor boxing. I said, tell you what, let's make it halfway even. Yep. Kickboxing. Yeah. Okay. No takedowns, no ground, yeah. but he gets to get kicked. Yeah. It would have changed that fight. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I don't, look, Floyd's smart. I don't blame him for doing what he's no. doing. He's a money-making machine. He's smart. He's not going to do anything stupid. No. If anything, he'll wait for some other boxer to get really pop or other MMA fighter to get really popular and box him. <laughs> smart man. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he literally might not ever box a boxer again. <laughs> I mean, he made his biggest payday ever fighting a guy with zero professional, zero professional fights. Well, zero professional boxing, boxing fights. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And what was his payout? What did they say overall? It's like something like more. $300 million. $300 million? That's a good piece of change. That'll, that'll tide him over for about two years. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Hey. That guy spends money like water. It's crazy. He does. He's crazy. It's man. fun to watch, though. It's fun to watch him spend all that money, too. It's like Jesus Christ. What you know, you I, I watch him spend it. I cringe. Yeah. I can't. It's like, oh, I can't, I can't even believe you're paying that money for that. Why? It's well, like every boxer like that goes broke. They all go broke. It's and just a matter of time. That's what I don't want to see. Yeah, but don't you? No, Isn't it kind I don't. of fun? I mean, no. what, so was, is it terrible that he has to get a job like regular folks? <laughs> is it terrible? I mean, what, uh, what is there's something about that, right? If, if you go to uh, a fucking job site and you see a guy who's working as a finished carpenter, you don't go, oh, that poor guy's got to work as a finished carpenter. <laughs> He go, hey man, what's going on? He goes, hey, how you doing? Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine with that. Okay. But if that guy used to be Floyd Mayweather, and now he's working as a finished carpenter, you're like, look at that poor bastard. Oh, gotta hammer those nails. No, down. no, no. What's it like? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Hit that. Oh yeah. Smash look that you, nail. You fucking loser. <laughs> you used to be on top of the world. Shouldn't have spent all that fucking money, Floyd. <laughs> right? Isn't that weird? There's I, a weird thing that people do. I used to work with a guy named Mike Quarry. I remember Mike Quarry. Quarry. Yeah. Sure. And, you know, Mike was a professional boxer. And light heavyweight, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Fought Bob Foster for the yeah. light heavyweight title. Back in the day. Okay. I used to dig holes with Mike Corey. Wow. You know, I used to do plumbing with him. And, and he was, he was you know, a great guy, but he was a mess. I mean. Punch drunk? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You know, and uh, his brother was even worse. But, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't you know, couldn't wheel a wheelbarrow. Didn't have the balance and coordination to do anymore. But if you put him in, and I would spar with him. We'd go in and we would we would work out, and you put him in a ring, and all of a sudden he start to bounce. He could fight still. It was just part of who that the ability to do it are just exactly deeply carved. Yep. Wow. And it's you know and it's but it's sad because you know he, he ended up leaving that and he, he ended up going he, he tried to become a uh, a, a, a hair cutter, 
Tried to become a barber. Yeah, he tried to become a barber. Whoa. You know, oh, yeah. Tried. He about cut his thumb off. Oh, Jesus. You know, all day. It's, and you look and you go, it's sad. Yeah. You know, it's like he had had to do those things because well know, what's no sad though is that he's physically damaged and he can't move right and can't talk right and all that yep. stuff but is it sad that he has to work a regular job no that's no. not sad but it's sad when you look and you say he could have gotten away with that if he just saved all that money if you if someone was smart enough to tell you back then look it i want you to take this much and put it here right maybe you wouldn't have to be doing this today and, and you you look at you know his whole thing you know, his the way his dad was with him and you know, with the things he went through, it's you look and you go, I feel bad. I feel bad that you're having to come in here every day like I am. But after what you've done in your life and the, and the status that you actually had at one time, yeah, I feel bad. Yeah, you feel bad. But if he was just a regular guy, you wouldn't feel bad. That's where it's weird. <laughs> no. It's fucking weird. It's a, it's a weird thing, right? It is. You know, it's we, we, we elevate people. Yeah. You know, it's... But it's also nobody really wants to work, right? Very few. Oh, people. I love work. Not a regular job. I don't know. Yeah, but you're working at Bellator. You're a fucking commentator. Stop <laughs> okay, it. Okay, stop. Hold on. I That's want to see you. Do you want to make some money? Then you can make a lot of money on cryptocurrency. Buy, sell, and trade bitcoins and other cryptos using links in the description. And don't forget to smash a like button for this video. See you, mate.